Hello friends, this is such a sweet story. It's called Firebird. He lived for the sunshine. Once upon a time, there lived a little baby Oriole. Can you see him in the nest there? Mm -hmm. His name was Firebird. His mama named him that on account of his brilliantly beautiful orange feathers. Firebird just lived for the sunshine. On those glorious sunny days, he would fly way up high to the highest branch he could find. He would throw back his little head and bask in the glow of the sun. But oh, when it, the rains came, little Firebird would whine and complain. Why, Mama, he'd ask, why does God let the storm take the sun away? Mama would just smile and say, You'll know someday, baby. Then she'd get that faraway look as if she were looking straight up to the sun. You'll know when you take a walk on the clouds. Now over and over again the rains would come and over and over again Firebird would complain to his mama. Until one day a huge storm rolled in and mama had a different answer. Firebird, Mama said with a nod toward the clouds, the answers are up there waiting for you, but you're going to have to fly on up there and see it for yourself. Little Firebird was so scared. He hadn't used his wings much at all, and now they trembled at the sight of the storm clouds above. Still, he just had to find out for himself. He had to know why God let the storm take the sun away. So up, up, up. Up he went and up into the great unknown. But instead of answers, poor little Firebird only found thunder, lightning and a fierce howling wind. He feared it would rip him apart. He was just about to turn back when it happened. Firebird broke through the clouds and there it was. In that one moment, it all became clear. All alone, in the midst of the darkest storm, Firebird saw the sun shining more brightly than ever. And then he knew God never let the storm take the sun away. It was as constant as his mother's love waiting there just above the clouds. Little Firebird never forgot that moment, even after he was a big Firebird. He still loved to bask in the sunshine, but more importantly, knowing the sun was always there, Firebird had learned to rejoice in the rain. Hmm. There he is happy, just like us. We can remember that God is always with us, no matter what comes our way. To know how to find all our stories, go to YouTube and type Living Books for World Changes into the search bar. Click Go, then select Living Books for World Changes and Videos, and then all our stories are there. We upload new stories every Thursday, so please come back. We love reading stories for you. Come back and listen.